What's up, Braggers Nation? To go along with some of the videos, I've been catching some white trout. I figured I'd go ahead and do this cleaning video, show you how I clean them, and how I cook white trout. They're absolutely one of the most delicious fish on the Gulf Coast. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, this one right here will be my 50th one. Well, here he is. Here he is right here. Yeah, 50th white trout. Nah. There's number 50. Dude, this jig head is getting destroyed. Dude, my net just turned a little bit and one just swam out. <laughs> awesome. One of the most important things you gotta have when you're cleaning fish is a good fillet knife. This one here is CUDA brand tools. Uh, one of my favorite fillet knives. I think it's a five inch model. It stays good and sharp. Easy to use, got a good stiff blade. It's a great fillet knife. So I do recommend this one. However, there's plenty of others out there that will do a very good job. Not just this one, but this just happens to be the one I really like um, now. So now let's get the fish out. So here's a white trout. Pretty fish. It's a lot prettier when it's alive than when it's dead. But hey, this is uh, actually kin to a speckled trout, which everyone loves so much. Uh, this often overlooked, underappreciated cousin of the speckled trout. Sand trout, white trout, it's got a couple different names, but it is, it is in the Cyanidae family or genus I'm not sure if it's family or genus read it across the screen because i'm going to post that at that um but yeah these things cook up really good they don't freeze really well so the important thing is once you cook them or once you catch them you need to cook them like that night the next day leave them on ice do not freeze them they don't freeze very well cook them just as fresh as you possibly can so first thing i'm going to come in i'm on the back side you know the back side here Come in right under this fin, make a diagonal cut that way. Go all the way to the bone here. And then from there, I'll just run this backbone. Okay, technical difficulties. From there, I just run this backbone all the way down to about right there. Let's see. Where I push out and just slide through. Okay. Now what this does is that's the gut area right here in the rib caves and that's pretty much where it's going to end. So we come right here and we're just going to, you know what, I'll show you a fast way to do it. And that's just cutting through all of that mess just like that and pull it up. So one important thing here, um, I have kids. So I want to keep the ribs completely out of my fish meat. It might waste a little, that's all right. See those ribs come out right there. I'm just gonna cut them off. I'm going all the way down because there's a lot of ribs in there. And then I'm just throwing that in my, in my bucket. All right, so here's a filet. It's got skin on that side. So we're gonna get that off in just a second. Let's finish this fish. Now I'm on the belly side of this, this one, and pretty much the same way. Make that diagonal cut. Come in. Follow that bone all the way down. All the way down. And there's a nice fillet. See, not a lot of meat wasted there. You can pretty much see through that. That's what you want. Right down that backbone. Okay, same thing here. On this side, we're just going to cut those ribs away. Like that. 
Yeah, the other way. No. Cleaning this off, best thing to do is get your nail on it and just flatten that knife out and just run that fillet knife right down the skin. And that gives you a real good, pretty white fillet. And there's the skin, just toss it. So, do that to the other side. I'm just going to go ahead and say I'm not the best filet in the world or the fastest, but I get the job done. And that's two pretty filets feeding my family tonight. All right, now you will notice, you know, there's some scales and stuff. You're going to wash all these off. I actually got to get a bag. I'm going to get a bag and I'm going to wash these filets off and put them in a bag in the ice as I clean the rest of the fish. I'll be back. Okay, so I got my bag here. What I'm gonna do is just turn the water on. It's kinda soft. Just wash that filet off and I'm feeling for any bones. Don't feel any. So that's good. Dropping it down in there. Okay. It's good. No bones. Alright, so I'm gonna get done with the rest of the fish. All right, so after you got the fish filleted, it's time to get the grease hot. So I got a skillet here, got the oil in it already. It's on like medium, a little bit higher than medium. Getting hot, so now let's talk about the fish fries. These are a couple of my favorite. Craw cane is really, really good. It's not very crispy. I really like crispy, so if, I like to mix this with other. Um, even cornmeal, mixing it with cornmeal is pretty good. Um, this Zatarain's Crispy Southern is really good. Uh, and here is seasoned. This is really good too. Now, regardless of which one I use, I always add this Carl Cane Seafood Sprinkle into it. Because I'm telling you, this stuff is so, so good. So, let's get it started. This is the crispy southern that I'm going with. And let's go with a lot of curl cane. And then put them in the oil slowly. Give them plenty of space in the oil. Oh, well, I didn't give them that one. No, I just took space. So these are like kind of starting to float around. That means they are done. You just get that and put it in the... Best thing to do is just get some paper towels, put them on a plate, and just put the fillets down on the paper towels, and that kind of helps get some of the oil out. So, that one's real thick, it's got a little bit more. All right, so that is basically how I cook white trout absolutely love them these are actually ready to come out of the grease now so i'm gonna do that um super good fish to eat super fun to catch and kids love them come here you like Dad, white trout Daddy's, come right here come Daddy's like, fish is the best you like white trout <laughs> so anyway that's how i do it well this is the first time i've ever done a video like this anytime i've never done a catch and cook video or cook video or anything so let me know if you like this um especially because i don't know if you like it i'll do more uh with different fish species maybe and uh if you don't like it 
let me know and I won't do it anymore. So that's that. Well, anyway, I've been Jeff. We're fixing to eat. Uh, good vibes, tight lines. God bless. Smash my face if you want to subscribe. Go ahead. Pop it. Boom. Boom. Okay. <laughs> subscribe. Tell your friends about it. Share this video if you like white trout. Send me some recipes that you do of white trout. Boom. See you guys later.